am Athena Metreidou and I am the experience designer for Motivision. What we are going to show you is an AR application that is solving the problem of delivering immersive content to groups of users. Imagine you are in situations like guided tours, group training or education environment and you want to have users share the same experience at the same time in the same environment. while each one maintains interactivity control of their AR application. For example, point of view of the 360 video. This application, developed by Mativision, leverages specific capabilities of a 5G network, such as support for network edge computation, higher speed and lower latency, which are required in order to provide tight synchronization among a group of users. Here we have two phones that belong to the same group. One of the users is acting as a group leader. For example, trainer or tourist guide. And has the control of the video for the group of users, which then is synchronized simultaneously for all users. In the case of the touristic application, the tour guide can point out specific details of the video and the users can comment and ask questions to the guide or discuss what they see between themselves as they are all watching the same thing at the same time. We have deliberately chosen these applications to show that they're working in the same way over a monolithic 5G RAM and on a disaggregated multi-vendor 5G open RAM solution in Sonic Labs. This is with an end-to-end -end capability set up only in the past six months and across multiple geographies. One of the three open RAN systems in the Sonic Lab is a four-vendor RAN system which is integrated by Acceleron in a 5G standalone end-to-end -end network solution. It captures the true essence of open RAN opportunity at the development stages of the products with a very interesting FAPI interface in addition to the defined open RAN interfaces. This open RAN system is shown here. The centralized unit and the rig functions are offered by Acceleron. The DU the distributed unit function is delivered by FNET, who has integrated with Fluido's upper phi over the FAPI interface and the radio unit by Benetel, making this the most diverse chain in the Sonic Labs. The Open RAN system as a whole is connected to Druid 5G SA core, over which the application you just saw is being run. The system is uh, fully operational and here we are looking at the system operational dashboards. We have the DRAX RAN Intelligent Controller by Axleron. This shows operational system health, RAN, in, RAN configuration, RIC management views, and the XAPS, one of the most exciting future features of Open RAN. Here you have various performance matrices of the generic purpose hardware over which Open RAN system is currently running. Furthermore, we can see the various CU functions, both user and control planes of the running Open RAN system. Here we are looking at the dynamic traffic traces in the running system across the Open RAN components, the CU, the DU, the RU, and the 5G SA core interface. The RIC, CU, DU are running as Docker containers, which are orchestrated by Kubernetes. The RU, is the physical network function that is transmitting over the air. And if we look specifically here, we can see the user equipments and the phones have successfully connected to this end-to-end -end open RAN system shown by the PDU session resource setup response. This can also be verified by looking at the Druid Core dashboard. It has been exciting to set up this fully functional end-to-end -end open RAN system across Digital Catapult and Ofcom sites. The process has highlighted integration and interoperability challenges across the way. Requirement for low latency Linux kernels as opposed to ones that ship with major Linux distributions. Different configurations of network interface cards and accelerators. There has been an excellent value for Sonic and our partners identifying interoperability and integration challenges as a team. 
The process has already shown the value added by the state-of-the-art interoperability center, helping identifying and resolving interoperability issues. After this launch event, the following steps will be to do a swappability test across all three operational open-run chains and perform end-to-end -end performance testing.